So this is a brief demonstration on how to remove an old 360 image using the Google Maps app. Uh, so the first thing you need to uh, be aware of is you need to be logged in as the main Gmail for the person that manages the Google Maps listing. There's no other way to do it. Um, if you're on an Android device or a, an iPhone, just make sure that you are logged into the, the main administrative Gmail for the business. Uh, secondly, you can only make this change using the Google Maps app. So if you do not already have that installed on your device, then you will need to go to your app store, download the app, and install it. And then once you have it installed, um, and once you are currently logged in to the main Gmail for, uh, for the administrative person, then you go ahead and open up the Google Maps app. And uh, when it first loads up, you will see that you've got this regular uh, map uh, in front of you. And in the search bar up at the top, you go ahead and start to search for your business. Just start to type it in, blue, I'm using mine, uh, Blue Raven Studios, and you can see in the suggestions that it pops right up. So there's the listing. Now I'm looking at the listing for Google Maps uh, for my studio's business. And uh, in here, you can see that you have all kinds of different business information, um, as far as hours of operation and whatnot. All of this is displayed on what Google calls the knowledge card, that this white panel. It's called the knowledge card, and they also display certain images and photos, and you can scroll to the right, and you can find more images, or you can see right underneath them um, is this a menu which says overview services reviews and photos i'm going to go ahead and click on photos and now i'm in the main photos menu where you can see all of the photos listed but more importantly you now have this menu up at the top so i can they're sorted uh, individually inside photos videos by owner and 360 and street view so i'm going to go ahead and click on that and I'm going to find an image that is an old image that no longer uh, pertains to our business. And I'm going to choose, uh, I'll choose this lobby image here. There we go. Because um, we, don't, we don't use this location anymore, so I don't really need this 360 anymore. We just, just got a conference room that we sometimes use, and that's it. So I'm going to, I don't need this Lobby 360. So I'm going to go ahead and use this Lobby 360 as my example. And I'm going to uh, go ahead and click in the top right corner. You can see those three dots. That's a menu. I'm going to select that menu. And you can see that you've got uh, another menu that pops up. I can report a problem. Okay. And then uh, you've got a dialog box that pops up and ask you why you want to report this image. Um, you can choose any one of these really that kind of pertains to it, uh, you know, if, if there's something offensive or whatnot or it's a copyright issue. A lot of times they pay attention, they pay close attention if it's a privacy concern um, <clears throat> or if it's not a photo or video of the place. They care about that too. Gary, Google basically just cares about the quality of the imagery and the quality of the information. So anything that really has to do with the quality of the content, they, it's important to them, um, including poor quality. But a lot of times if I choose that poor quality, I feel like that's almost like a, a judgment call because when you submit this, it actually goes to a real live person that will review your request and check it. So I'm going to say... Um, I'm just going to say poor quality. You can, uh, If you don't want to say poor quality, you can also choose other, and then you've got a, a chance to explain it, like um, um, not really using this space anymore. Or uh, maybe I want to say that the, the images have been updated with a new Google Maps 360 tour. Um, and if that's the case, they will go and they'll check the, and they'll look. And the, the, like I said, this goes to a real person. So they'll check and, and verify, you know, yeah, okay, this is poor quality. Or, oh, okay, there is some new imagery to support this 
this uh, this business. So whatever it is that you choose, and then naturally you just click on report, and then it, you get a thanks for the feedback. And that is how to successfully request that a 360 image be deleted. Now, mind you, unfortunately, Google is the only one that gets to choose whether or not your request is viable. And that means that it goes to some room, some quality control room, where there's a bunch of people sitting there and they just get thousands and thousands and thousands of these requests. And so in a split second, they have to decide whether or not your request is valid and that's their job. Um, which means that they blow through a lot of stuff, which also means that they don't necessarily make the best decision all the time. So sometimes you have to request to have something removed. Like, it can even be several times before someone finally agrees with you and will remove it. It's not always the case. Sometimes it's done right away, but sometimes you do have to do it multiple times. And unfortunately, as, as cumbersome as this process is, it is the only way to remove a 360 image from your Google Maps listing, or any image for that matter, um, unless it's something recent that you took, um, then you, you, that individual can remove the imagery. But other than that, that's the only choice. So I hope this helped you. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and make sure that you give us a call if you need anything uh, more, or if you have some, some help that you need or assistance, we're always more than happy to give you some assistance. Thanks for watching.